they elected yeah. you to do that. Uh, just one of the things I wanted to say uh, about the re-election um, is that one of the things that the independent investigation is going to determine exactly, I hope that they determine, is how many people were actually not able to vote. And that's what this hinges on, is because the Alaska Supreme Court has, has set out a standard at which we hold new elections. And that is one of the biggest things that it hinges on, is how many people were disenfranchised. Was it enough to actually affect the outcome? And this body does not have the authority to, if it, it's determined that there weren't enough votes legally, this body doesn't have the authority to hold a new election. That could very easily be contested in court and thrown out holding a new election if there weren't enough, if there weren't enough votes to actually swing the election. And uh, the Supreme Court's been very, from everything that I've read, has been very clear on this. So that's one of the things that the independent investigation is going to determine. But can you explain to me how you can determine how many people did not get to vote and they are so upset about how you're handling this that they don't even care to let you know? I mean, they, 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 they don't think you're going to do anything about it. Why bother? They, that's their attitude. I mean, that is a, a genuine attitude out there. Why bother? Y'all are going to do what you, you want to do anyway. So, I mean, how do you think of that? I don't understand. That we're going to get a number of how many people didn't vote. Ms. Strum. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thanks for coming, Ms. Moran. I really appreciate it. I, uh, I appreciate some of the points you brought up. I have some concerns that this body, um, number one, we don't have an investigator yet. Number two, we have a meeting scheduled in about nine days to certify the selection. I don't know how we're going to lay out the scope of the investigation, accomplish the investigation, and give us answers before May 3rd that will allow us to feel comfortable certifying the selection. Um, I don't know how. I, I, the investigator may suggest that we poll the people who tried to vote at the 53 or 54 precincts that didn't have enough ballots. That will take a considerable amount of time. I think we are underestimating the amount of work that can be done by an investigator in nine days, and definitely less, less than nine days, because we don't know who that person is yet. So I think there's a lot of questions of, raised by the public that I'm not sure that we are considering the uh, rational ramifications of. Thank you. 